Welcome to GNU TechMax. In this demo, I will provide further details about the graphical user interface and on the way TechMax works as a structured text editor. The top level icon toolbar is called the main icon toolbar. The leftmost group of icons roughly correspond to the entries in the file menu. The middle group roughly correspond to editing actions from the edit menu. The rightmost icons are used for browsing and correspond to some of the entries in the go menu. The second toolbar is called the mode dependent toolbar. It changes when you switch from text to mathematics or to a graphical picture. The mode dependent icons roughly correspond to the entries in the insert menu. The last toolbar is highly context dependent and we call it the focus toolbar. Indeed, its contents depends on the current focus. Roughly speaking, this is the innermost structure that contains the cursor. For instance, in our example here, we are inside the subscript and the current focus is on this subscript. The bar at the bottom of the TechMax window is called the footer or the status bar. It contains useful information about text properties and structure at the current cursor position. The status toolbar is also used for displaying certain messages, such as confirmation that your file has been saved. In our example, at the left hand side, we see that we are in math mode and that we are using the 11 point Pagala font. At the right hand side, we see the full structure around our cursor. More precisely, our cursor is just behind the character 2, inside the subscript, which is yet inside another subscript, at the third row and third column inside a tabular table, which in its turn is inside an equation. It is interesting to be aware of the structured outward selection mechanism using control spacebar. This allows you to select the successive structures around your cursor while going from the inside to the outside. Notice how the current focus changes during outward selections and also notice the messages on the status bar. Let us now explore the other ways to exploit the structure inside our document. So assume that the current focus is on the entire formula here. Notice that the current focus is also indicated graphically through a light blue box. The first group of icons on the focus toolbar allows us to navigate through all equations or similar tags such as equation arrays inside our document. For this we may also use the keyboard shortcuts control page up and control page down. Certain structures admit a flexible size or allow for optional arguments. In this case, the focus toolbar contains a group of icons that allows you to control the size. For instance, 
If we are inside a table, then these icons can be used to insert or remove rows and columns. Such insertions can also be done using the ALT modifier key combined with the arrow keys. Inside a subscript, we may insert a corresponding superscript. Let us now turn to the main icon group on the focus toolbar. When clicking on the name of our structure, a pop-up menu appears with variants of the tag. Such structured variants can also be obtained through Ctrl Tab. Some tags also come with other toggles, such as this one, for numbered variants. Similarly, certain tags, such as labels, references or citations, can be disactivated. The inactive state can be used to edit hidden information, such as the name of a label that should not appear in the printed document. Whenever such hidden information is purely textual, it is often possible to do the editing more directly on the focus bar itself. The red cross on the focus bar can be used to remove the innermost surrounding tag altogether. For instance, we may use it to remove the white bar above the cursor. Control Backspace achieves the same effect. The spanner on the focus toolbar can be used to change global style properties. Finally, you may use the question mark in order to obtain contextual help. TechMax actually comes with a lot of documentation, which is made available through the help menu. You may also search the documentation using the F1 key. Let us conclude our demo with the special case when the current focus is on the entire document. In that case, the focus toolbar allows you to easily modify various global settings for the document, such as the document style, optional style packages, we may also obtain contextual help for the document style, the page size, 
the main font for our document, the corresponding font size, the page type, the document language, and we may finally directly jump to a specific section in our document by clicking here. Thank you for your attention.